Hugh and I met at Canterbury University and we met racing motorcycles. So that's where the relationship started through about 2004 when we came up with this cunning plan to set up a business together and it was focused primarily around composite cryostats for the superconducting industry. Think uh, thermos flasks for keeping coffee hot. So the composite cryostat is exactly that, but it's designed to keep superconducting coils very cold at about minus 220 degrees Celsius. Part of the global entry into the superconducting market required us to exhibit at conferences, uh, Europe and America. The key note was that there were no industrialised cryocoolers available. People were taking research cryocoolers and trying to make them work in an industrial environment and they were failing. The problem with cryocoolers is that when you cool things down to really low temperatures, everything freezes out. So all your lubricants, all the vapour from your lubricants will freeze out into the cold side of the machine and block it up. What Callaghan Innovation brought to this cryocooler project was world leading. So what we worked on was the diaphragm system which uses a flexible membrane to keep the contaminants out of the cryocooler's working gas and it also allows a very long life for the cryocooler. It's a world first in being able to um, operate efficiently at that temperature and of course it's got a, a long lifetime as well. As we researched the need for cryocoolers globally, it surprisingly became apparent that uh, the applications were much more vast than we expected. Artificial insemination, uh, pharmaceuticals, on-site medical oxygen, cryotherapy treatment, fertility treatment, environmental chambers where they're replicating environments such as Mars or Moon, through to our most recent project which has been a development of a, of a cryocooler specifically for NASA for a Mars lander project that they're working on. Receiving an email with a NASA tag on the bottom of it is, uh, it, it, it's outside the normal mundane emails you receive. Uh, and then to read within that that they're asking for your input into a project involving the Mars lander is pretty exciting. We believe for our technology alone there's at least $100 million a year of sales. I think we're fortunate in New Zealand that we have a government that's reasonably motivated in funding R&D, as well as the likes of the Callaghan Innovations with a focus clearly on creating new, new technology. 